during the Senate hearing on the capsized vessel in Binangonan Rizal that claimed almost 30 lives, revelations of bribes and the absence of a license came up. Daniel Manalastas tells us the details. The captain of the capsized boat in Binangona Rizal claimed bribery allegations against the Philippine Coast Guard. This he revealed during the Senate inquiry. He claimed giving fruits such as bananas and cash to avoid being cited for violations. <laughs> PCG spokesperson Armand Balilo denied these allegations, calling it absurd. Balilo said even their personnel denied accepting such items. Meanwhile, during the hearing, the boat captain was also found not to be completely licensed for the skipper's status. But he claimed he has documents which recognized by the PCG. However, Marina said the kind of documents he claims to have does not suffice. Probably uh, applied for the license as a S8, the seafarer identification book sa Marina po. Magkano ka patagal ng training? The BCG meanwhile admitted negligence on their part for the boat tipping over from way too many passengers. We are privy not to accept the consequences of our actions. Alam ko mabigat talaga sa konsensya yan. Ayaw ko na masyadong... Lagyan pa ng asin ng sugat, pero siyempre kailangan managot, no? Managot sila. The Coast Guard personnel assigned to the ill-fated boat also appeared in the hearing. And senators didn't waste time lashing out at them. Tinig na ko naman sa yung panibesto at saka yung MTS din na siya. Actually, sa umigo mo na nangarawin siya. Kung ka, ginawang trabaho mo, pinigilan mo, nakapag po na kayo maglarga, wala saan mo namatay. The senators also questioned the specifications of the capsized boat as it was revealed during the hearing that there's a memorandum saying the boat's composition should have been of fiberglass or steel material and not of wooden construction or material. There are some places already that completely have FRP or fiberglass fiber reinforced uh, plastic or uh, steel hull. But in some areas, in other areas, na hindi na ano na Daniel Manalastas, for the nation.